1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 20. For the kingdom of Yahweh is not in word, but in power. I like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rakahakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect. This is the brother Bakwasha. And I just want to go over um, how the power that we have inherently is of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And that power is to overcome all things. And so I'm going to go into the definition of the word here, uh, dynamus. Okay, it says strength, power, ability, inherent power, power residing in a thing by virtue of its nature or which a person or thing exerts and puts forth. And so really all the rest of these definitions are great, but I just want to kind of center uh, the lesson around the inherent power or power residing in a thing by virtue of its nature. And so, Lord willing, we be in those first fruits, uh, just like anything that's that's a first has its uh, most potent and concentrated um, attributes. OK, and those attributes specifically is faith. Because that in itself is a power that Yahweh by Shemi Shai has given us. And so let's go back to the scripture. The scripture says, for the kingdom of Yahweh is not in word, but in power. It's belief. It's understanding that regardless of whatever the situation is, Yahweh by Shemi Shai has given us an out. That out is faith, prayer, and belief in him. Just as our forefathers have done. You know, we're not doing Yahweh Shai himself. Okay. He believed in Yahweh. And so he is our example of being able to utilize that power, tap into that power. You know, we, we are Yasha Allah, OK, princes of the power, the supreme power, the ultimate power. But that power is the same inherent power to overcome all things through faith in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. So let's bring this out. This is. Um, this is first Corinthians chapter two, and I'm going to start at verse one. It says, and I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shah HaMashiach and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Verse five, and this is the point that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahweh. OK, so our faith is demonstrated or executed. OK. It says here, but in the power of. Same word here, dynamos or dynamis. It says strength, power, ability, inherent power, power residing in a thing by its virtue. So like you, power residing in a thing by virtue of its nature or which a person or thing exerts or puts forth, you know. So when the scriptures say that with the faith of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain, right? That's true belief. Knowing that the power that we have has already done it, has already overcame it, whatever scenarios in which we're going through. OK, so let's uh, let's bring this out. This is Matthew 17 and let's just bring out the whole scripture. Matthew 17 and 20, it says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to go yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. And that's true, okay? Because that's the power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, okay? Belief and faith and being able to execute that faith. These are the elements, K, 
okay, these are the intangibles that this world doesn't want us to tap into, which is the reason why they try to hide the scriptures. They try to hide the truth. They try to distract you with all types of different carnal, fleshly uh, situations. Okay? But Yahweh is our, is our way. He is our truth. He is our light. Okay? And so that light in itself is a power. But we must exercise that power. Okay? Because things that are coming uh, uh, ahead of us are just as that mountain. You know, literally, you know, mountains represent uh, governments, you know, power structures. But with the faith that Yahweh Yahweh Shai has given us, through the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, we are telling that mountain move. You know, or it says remove, hence to yonder place. And it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. You know, so so tapping into that power, tapping into that belief, tapping into the understanding that Yahweh Shai has given us is our power. OK, is our uh, is our way of, of overcoming every scenario um, that that we'll will need to overcome in order to receive salvation. This is Revelation chapter 12. Let's start at verse 10. It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power and the power of his of his Hamashiach. OK, it says for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. OK, he's being thrown down. Esau, the so-called white man. OK, the accuser of our brethren. OK, is being thrown down. Verse 11, it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. OK, Yahweh Shai and by the word of their testimony and they love their lives and they love not their lives unto death. So the point being here in verse 11, it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Now, why are we going into being uh, uh, overcoming? OK, because overcoming is a inherent power. OK. Let's read this. This is uh, overcame. It says to conquer, to carry off the victory, come off victorious. It says of Hamashiach, victorious over all his foes. OK. So when when the scripture says that Yahweh has overcame the world here, the definition of overcame says of Hamashiach. Victorious over all his foes. It says of uh, the anointed ones. That hold fast their faith. Even unto death against the power of their foes. In temptations and persecutions. OK. So. So, yeah, I mean, the the power to overcome is inherent. Let's read that again. Revelation 12 and 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. OK, that blood that was sacrificed of Yahweh Shai activated the faith in which inherently we have to overcome whatever situation that's presented on this side. Through the spirit, we are indestructible through Yahweh Yahweh Shai. OK, because it doesn't matter what the scenario is, having faith, believing that Yahweh, Yahweh Shai will deliver is the, the, the ultimate achievement. That's something that Esau cannot tap into. Once you have that concrete, that firm foundation, that belief and that trust and confidence in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, that he will deliver. There's nothing Esau, Satan, the adversary can do. OK. And, and that that is powerful. OK. You can't you can't you know, there's this quote that says you can't stop a man that won't quit. 
Not quitting is having undeniable faith and belief in your how why how shot regardless of whatever the situation is. Okay. Um let's bring this out cuz I quoted it earlier. Let's see here. This is John 16 and Um, 32. Let's start at 31. It says, Yahweh Shah answered them, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. Verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Through what? Let's look up this word here, overcome. Okay. Same word. To conquer, to carry off the victory. Come off victorious. Okay. It says those that hold their those that hold fast their faith even unto death against the power of their foes in temptations and persecutions. So so once again, you know, this is this is talking about the power of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai and that same power that he's given unto his holy and righteous men. All right. This is Revelation chapter 21 and 6 it says and he said unto me it is done i am alpha and omega the beginning and the end i will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely he that overcometh shall inherit all things and i will be his god and he shall be my son Okay, so we have the innate power to overcome all things, just as Yahweh, uh, just as Yahweh Shai overcame all things. Okay, by that blood uh, of the Lamb. Okay, this is this is the strength that we have. This is the 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 power of the princes of the power. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's bring this out too. This is uh, Philippians 3 and 13. Yeah, let's start at 13. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before verse 14 i press towards the mark for the for the prize of the high calling of yahweh in hamashiach yahweh shai so pressing towards that mark is a form of overcoming okay it's a form of having belief it's a form of knowing that there's a, a scenario that we must conquer okay that we must be victorious o over OK. And it's through that power that Yahweh Yahweh Shai has given us that those things are being done. All right. This is Second um, Thessalonians. Chapter one and. Yeah, let's just read the point. Verse 11. It says, wherefore, also we pray always for you that our power, Yahweh, would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. OK, it says, and the work of faith with power. Once again, going back to that word there dynamis 
Okay, it says the work of faith. With power. And what's that word power? Strength, power, ability, inherent power, power residing in a thing by virtue of its nature. You know, we we come we come from the stock of Yahweh Shai. OK. That that pure seed. Within that seed is inherent power of faith. OK. It says or which a person or thing exerts or puts forth. So. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of go into a couple of scenarios there. It says Second Thessalonians. 1 and 11 wherefore also we pray always for you that our power yahweh would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power it's in demonstrating that power it's in demonstrating it out on the highways and byways it's demonstrating it in in your ability to to persevere all the afflictions tribulations whatever it may be to press towards that mark man you know so that in itself is a uh, it's just a power that, that the more we use the less temptations uh actually overcome us we overcome the temptations we overcome the tribulations we overcome the vexations okay because we have confidence that Yahweh Yahweh Shai is leading us to salvation. So I got I got one more scripture here and, and um Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying for the elect. This is first John chapter five. Um yeah, we'll just read down. I'm gonna start at verse one. Whosoever believeth that Yahweh Shai is the Hamashiach is born of Yahweh. And everyone that loveth him. That begat, that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of Yahweh when we love Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the love of Yahweh that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. And this is the point, verse four. For whatsoever is born of Yahweh overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. That gift that Yahweh by Shemiahushai has given the hopeful elect is powerful. Because this world doesn't teach faith. This world will not teach faith. This world despises faith because faith aligns with belief. And belief aligns with the Holy Spirit of Yahweh by Yahweh Everything else doesn't contribute to faith. Everything else doesn't contribute to belief in, in, in Yahweh by Yahweh But this goes to show you how that faith, that ingredient is powerful. Okay. And I want to get this word here, victory. I didn't look this one up earlier, but. I said here victory because, you know, that's where they, the, the Greeks get, you know, Nike from or whatever. But uh, I think that was a Greek goddess or whatever. But, yep, see, victory. Okay. Or Nike, Nike, victory. Okay. It says conquest. Okay. Means of success. And so, and so that success is salvation, man. You know, success is, is overcoming all of the trials and tribulations that this world has in store and demonstrating the power of our faith in Yahweh by Shemiah Shai and, and that also fulfilling prophecy, you know, because these are the men that stood so stiffly for the word. Okay. Rooted, you know, established, unmovable, you know, because, because Yahweh by Shemiah Shai has given us this inherent power to utilize. Okay. To prove he is true. All right. So, uh, yeah, Lord willing, uh, this lesson was edifying for the elect. Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.